Hello, this video will show you how to sew a basic kitchen curtain with a rod pocket and a ruffled top. The first thing you need to determine is the width of your curtain panel and the fullness of the curtain. For a kitchen curtain, you normally want the curtain to be one and a half to two times the width of the area you want to cover. So you measure, measure the width of your curtain rod Multiply this measurement by one and a half or two, and then you divide it by two. To determine the length of your curtain, measure from the top of the rod to the windowsill or wherever you want the curtain to end. To this measurement, add six inches for the hem, the rod casing, and the ruffle at the top. For my curtain, I had to do my curtain my window was 26 inches times 2 would be uh, 52 because I like a fullness of 2 divided by 2 it was still 26 inches the length of my curtain I wanted was 21 inches so I added 6 inches to it so it was 27 inches so after you have um, calculated your measurements you cut out your material to the calculations in my case, it was 26 inches wide by 27 inches long. Now we can start to sew. The first thing you want to do is to make the um, side panels to press them under and make a hem. You want to press it under a quarter of an inch And then I like the side hems to be about one inch. So I'm going to press it at one inch. I'm going to add a few pins to make sure that it stays in place. And then I will be sewing it close to the fold, right along here. Now I'm going to prepare the other side and I'm going to sew it and then I will be back. As you can see, I'm finished. I, I hemmed at the panel sides. Now we're going to do the top. Again, turn it under a quarter of an inch. And now we're going to turn it under three inches and press it. And we're going to this is where we're going to be making the ruffle at the top and the rod pocket. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to place a few pins to hold it in place. And then we're going to go over to the sewing machine. Okay. Uh, we're going to again sew close to the fold and you want to back tack at the beginning and the end of the curtain. bobbin thread so I'll be right back. Okay the next step will be to make the ruffle at the top and the pocket here. Um, we are going to be sewing one inch down from the top so some if your sewing machine does not have a guide that is one inch what you can do is measure it, take a piece of masking tape Tape it to the machine at that spot, and that will be your guide. Okay, don't forget to back tack at the beginning, using that for your guide. We're sewing our ruffle and rod pocket. Okay, as you can see, you have a little pocket here for the rod, and that'll be the ruffle at the top. Now the last step is going to be to sew the hem, and what I'm going to be doing, again, is doing a quarter of an inch, and then I like an inch and a half hem, and we'll be sewing it. Okay, as you can see, I've finished the hem. As I said, I turned it under a quarter of an inch, and then I like an inch and a half hem. And now my curtain panel is finished. And I can put it right on the curtain rod. There you go. That's the uh, kitchen curtain with a ruffle and a pocket. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. For more sewing projects, visit our website, needlepointers.com. A link is in the description below. Happy sewing!